Hi there, welcome back. If you look at this Cartesian plane, we have the y and the x-axis, and we also have this angle here, which is the 40 degrees. We have the hypotenuse, which is 550 Newton. We have our opposite and adjacent, so they are unknown. Let's calculate for the unknowns. If you look at this triangle here, if you could measure it with your protector, you would notice it's 90 degrees. And a triangle with a 90 degrees, you can use the Pythagoras theorem. And what the Pythagoras theorem tells us is that the opposite squared plus the adjacent side squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. We can say that this adjacent side is basically equal to x and the opposite side is equal to fy. This is therefore the hypotenuse. Some textbooks might say r. In order to calculate using the angle, we can use the trigonometric functions. The first one that I'm thinking of is sine 40, which is the angle, can be equated to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cos 40 can be equated to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. 10 at the angle, which is 40, can be equated to opposite over adjacent. This can further be expanded by just writing it simpler and saying fy over r fx. We can write this further for ourselves. I'm going to use math functions. So I'm going to say r sine 40 can be equated to fy, and this is going to be r cos 40 can be equated to fx. This can further be calculated too. If you substitute everything and punch into your calculator, you should get 353.53 newtons. f of x, 421.32353.53, which is constant with that. Another way to check if we are on the right track, let's confirm this theory here. Hypotenuse, the side, it's basically going to be a square root of opposite squared plus adjacent squared. And this should give you 550 newtons. Okay, I hope that makes sense and I hope you understood what we just did. Thank you so much for watching.